One of the more common measures that we take in forestry is a measure of volume. It could be the volume of an individual tree, the volume per acre, or the in volume of uh, entire woods. And we can speak in terms of volume from the standpoint of cubic foot, uh, cords, or tons. And that's commonly used in, in places where we're chipping smaller trees, uh, like for pulpwood markets and that kind of thing. But the common way that we speak of volume uh, with saw timber sized trees is that of board footage. And so when we talk about the, the number of board feet that's in a particular tree. Now, I've got a, a prop here to show you. Uh, this is an example of a board foot. And you can see that uh, in this case it's square. We've done this to represent a board foot as 12 inches by 12 inches by one inch thick is one board foot. And so we're gonna talk about how many board feet is contained in this tree. Now, when we talk about estimating the board footage of this tree, we're actually talking about how many board feet of lumber can be sawn from this tree. So we're estimating, uh, you would take this tree, you would divide it into the logs that are in this tree, take it to a sawmill and saw it into boards. And when you do that, you're gonna lose some kerf where you cut the boards out, you're gonna lose what we call slab wood where you're converting the roundness of a tree to a square, if you will. And that, that is essentially waste from the standpoint of making lumber. Uh, and we have uh, formulas and tables that allow us to predict how many board foot of, of, of boards or lumber can be sawn from this tree. Now, in order to, to take that measure of this tree, uh, the volume measure, you have to know the diameter of the tree and its merchantable height. And, and if we're uh, determining uh, saw timber volume like we are here with this tree, with the merchantable height would be measured in the number of logs that are contained in this tree. So you have the, you have the diameter of the tree and you have its merchantable height. Now, once you have those two measures, um, you can take uh, some tables that we have that are what we call volume tables, and some are printed out. Uh, is here, or some are contained in a, in, on a tree scale stick. There's an actual table on here. Uh, now, there, is two con there are different ways of, of estimating that volume, or different formulas or tables that are used to estimate that volume. Uh, two of the most common uh, in, in this part, or this region of the U.S., is an international quarter inch scale, and something called the Doyle scale, and you will see uh, tables for either the international uh, quarter inch scale or the Doyle scale. And depending upon where you're at and, and how your markets work, you would use one or the other. And for the example here, we'll use the Doyle scale. Now, you can, if we're going to take this tree scale stick, which has um, uh, a volume table on it, and we're going to have to look up on this scale uh, the number of logs that are in this tree and the diameter. And the reason we use the diameter and the height is in, in, these, in this estimation or in this table is because a tree is very similar to a cylinder. It has a diameter and the cylinder has a length. Now with trees, they have taper to them. So the upper end of this tree stem is smaller diameter than down here at the bottom portion of the tree. And these scales that we have take into account uh, this taper. And uh, a common taper uh, that, we, that we use here in the eastern United States for hardwood trees is uh, what we call a form class or a taper class of 78. And this table that we have on this tree scale stick has the volume in the, the doyle board foot volume for trees of a particular log height, merchantable height, and a particular diameter. 